The organization is on a mission to help children with disabilities and their families by providing education and therapy. Yeah, Kindering embraces children of a variety of disabilities. Back in January on Arc Seattle, we spoke with Rome Johnson, who uses his platform to raise awareness about children with disabilities and highlight his daughter, who has a rare disorder called Pfeiffer syndrome. Roman and his wife, Felicia, are kindering parents. So joining us to continue the conversation this morning is kindering uh, therapist, Heather, and we have Alex and Morgan, who you see there. They're the parents of Juniper, who is also in the kindering program. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, so we'll actually start with Heather. Heather, can you start by giving us a look at the important services kindering provides for children? Sure, so Kindering's mission is to embrace children of all abilities by providing uh, the finest education and therapies that the children and families need for their kids to soar. Um, and what we know is that 85% of brain growth happens within the first three years of life, and it's an integral time of growth. And that's when the majority of our pediatric therapies, special education classes, and family supports are delivered. Um, so specifically, we provide occupational, physical, speech therapy, and education services, as well as um, mental health services um, to support the family dynamic um, for children between birth and three years of age. Um, and we do this in the natural environment, so in the home setting or in child care setting or in um, some of our inclusive prequel, preschool programs. Heather, before we bring in Alex and Morgan, I wanted to ask you this. You know, for many parents, having a child with a disability is new. It can be difficult to, you know, even figure out where to start to make sure that their child can grow and flourish. Uh, what impact are you seeing in terms of the programs that Kindering offers having on families uh, within our community? Uh, well, I obviously am a huge proponent for what we do. Uh, one of the favorite things about my role as an occupational therapist is I do get to support families by partnering with them. Um, we as Kindering partner with the families to support the developmental needs that each child has on an individual basis. So every therapy or service that we provide is targeted directly to the parents or caregivers and what they would like to see their child being able to do and what their child's interests are. Um, we're able to to support through a parent coaching model, which means that we partner hand in hand with parents. We know that parents are the primary person with their child throughout the day, every day. So we work with them to make it easy to work in therapeutic strategies throughout their day and their week and their daily routines. Turning now to Alex and Morgan, we can hear your baby in the background and, and it's so cute. <laughs> Going off what Heather just said about supporting parents, can you talk with us about Juniper and her uh, diverse abilities and how Kindering has helped you both as she continues to learn and grow? Yeah, um, so Juniper um, was born at 26 weeks, um, so three months premature. Uh, she had a brain bleed um, that led to hydrocephalus that eventually led to a cerebral palsy diagnosis. Um, when she was discharged from the NICU, we were, um, sent home with her with a nasal feeding tube. Um, and the, the NICU made sure that we were in contact with Kindering and we were able to get into their services really quickly. Um, Heather actually was able to come to our home um, and help us learn how to give Junie a bottle um, and a safe way for her and um, try to pro like begin that process of weaning off of um, her feeding tube, um, and then as it became more obvious that it was going to be a permanent thing, Heather also helped us with the transition from a nasal feeding tube to a G-tube, which goes through her stomach and is a lot more comfortable for her. Um, and then Kindering, um, well, with Heather with Kindering, um, definitely gave us the tools to um, like learn how to help Juniper eat properly. Um, she was, uh, you know, struggling with waddles and now she is eating a really diverse yeah, diet. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mostly um, with Heather's yeah, guidance, we were able to, yeah, to um, work our way through like purees to solids. Um, Kindering has been an amazing support for us um, with providing equipment um, that we would have a really hard time getting typically through insurance. Mm -hmm. um, and then also setting us up with um, 
Baby Steps, which is a baby play group for other children who are in services like Juniper um, and getting for us to be able to like connect to other parents who are going through similar situations. Um, so Kindering has really had a big impact on Juni's development and then also on, um, our, on, education. on our education as yeah. parents mm -hmm. of a child with disability. I have to say her her smile is so infectious mm -hmm. and I think she just has a lot to say this morning, I right? Like she wants her voice to be <laughs> That's, right. She That's yeah. right. You know, do you two have a message for other parents who might also be looking for some guidance or help with a child that has some challenges? Yeah, you know, I, I think obviously the biggest one was, you know, enroll in early intervention kind of advocate for that as soon as possible as soon as you know um you know your child has a diagnosis i think that was kind of one of the biggest things that helped her the most um and then a couple other kind of pieces of advice would be that you know you are the biggest voice for your child Adv advocate for them as much as possible you know they uh they are they're you know blessings and we just, you know, it's, it's important to be the biggest advocate for them. Right. And then uh, kind of lastly is just join communities, local communities, um, forums or Facebook groups, or um, to try and meet other families in situ similar situations. I think doing that and kind of getting those avenues of connection really helped us um, find other families to relate to and kind of get advice from other families as well. Uh, so I think that was very helpful for us. I'm so glad you all have a good support system and a community. And, and going back to you, Heather, we know Governor Inslee just signed House Bill 1916 into law, which will improve funding for early support services for children with disabilities. Can you talk a little bit more how that will benefit families moving forward? Um, yes, absolutely. We're really excited about this. Um, it was actually just passed at the tail end of March on the 26th. Um, uh, rep <laughs> Representative Tana Sen is one of the primary sponsors for this bill. Um, and what that means for our families is they're going to have better access to our services, like the ones I mentioned before, physical, speech, feeding, um, occupational therapy, um, and Again, these services are for the birth to three age range primarily, and it's the first stage um, of special education in our state. So it's really gonna help all of these parents um, like Mor Morgan and Alex and have them have more access um, to the high caliber of therapy that their child needs and that individualized care. It's gonna be uh, making a huge difference, I'm sure. Heather, Alex, Morgan, and Juniper, <laughs> Thank you all for joining us this morning and sharing your story. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Juniper. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Like, there we go. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. If you would like to uh, learn more about Kindering and the services they offer, we made it easy for you. Just scan the QR code on your screen. It'll take you directly to comonews.com slash hotlinks. From there, you'll find a link to Kindering's website.